Hi, you're with Shandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to talk about an interesting target versus actual chart in Power BI. Now, I created this particular type of a chart long while ago in Excel. People seem to like it a lot. And off late, they started asking me questions that, can you please help us create this particular type of chart in Power BI? Now, in this video, I'm going to exactly show you that how can you carry the logic that we built it in Excel to create the target versus actual chart and move that logic into Power BI to create the same experience of target versus actual values. All right, before I move ahead and start to deconstruct the chart and build it into Power BI, I have a quick announcement for the upcoming Power BI live course, and then we'll actually get started with the video. Stay tuned. All right, quick interruption in the video. Later this month, I am actually going to be doing a live training session on Power BI, and we're going to be focusing on the hard parts of Power BI. We're going to be focusing on Power Query, Data Modeling, and DAX. If you've recently started with Power BI and you have struggled to learn data modeling, Power Query, and DAX in a structured way, and you need my help, you've watched the videos, you've liked the way that I teach, and you'd like to enroll for the session, this is going to be a great learning opportunity. Note that this is going to be a live training session. And if you're the type of person who would like to sit along with the trainer and you'd like to get your doubts sorted, um, you know, get your doubts clarified as you move along in the training, get some assignments right after the training session, it's going to be a phenomenal learning opportunity. Now, just two more things. There is definitely going to be a last date for the training because we are starting later this month. So check that out. And also, uh, there are 15 seats available and of which five seats have been filled up. So in case you want a spot for yourself, do not wait and just fix up a spot for yourself. That's all about it. And uh, we'll just get started with this video. All right, I'm in Power BI and that's where you can take a look at uh, the target versus actual chart that I've already created. I first would like you to take you through the chart, introduce you to it, show you how it works and how it looks like and how do you read it. And then we'll actually go understand the logic behind it. And then we'll start to do some work in Power BI to be able to create this type of chart. Now, if you take a look at this particular chart, which is appearing on the screen, you can see that we have a year slicer. And if you read this particular chart, you can see that we have a blue bar and a red bar right here. The blue bar simply means that the target was met or overachieved, right? And the red bar simply means that the target was underachieved and you had a little deficit. And that is actually what is shown by the red bar and the blue bar is actually the surplus. Now, if you actually pick up any particular slicer, but let's just say year, year of 2003, year of 2004 and of one, it actually respects the particular slicer and slices the entire uh, chart uh, with that particular year and shows you that which months have actually met the targets and which months haven't actually met the target. Now, I have also built a few fancy things around in the chart. So there is a fancy title which actually shows you the count of the number of months that have actually missed the targets. We've also got a fancy legend right here that tells you that what does the blue mean, what does the red mean, and what is the actual meaning of the little dash line that you see it right here. And we also have a little tooltip that actually shows up once you hover the mouse on top of the bar to tell you exactly what the values are of the sales values, the target values, and the met or the unmet, whichever case that might be. Now, before I start to teach you that how did I actually put this thing together, it's very important for you to understand what is the logic of displaying the blue bar and the supporting bar, which is at the bottom and things like that. So I'll actually take you to a PowerPoint slide, help you deconstruct each and every bar one by one. And once you understand the logic, it will be very, very easy to understand how the chart is created. Let's just jump over to PowerPoint and solve this thing. All right, I'm in a PowerPoint slide and that's where I have put together some very simple diagram. These are nothing but rectangles to be able to help you understand that what are the three or four key ingredients that we would need in order to put the chart together. Let's start. The first thing that we would need is the red portion of the bar, which is nothing but the deficit value that in case, in case your sales was lower than the target, how much was the deficit? So if you take a look at the dash, the dash is nothing but the target value. The little thing is the actual sales and 30 is nothing but the deficit value. And we would need in Power BI to be able to calculate the deficit, which is going to be the red portion of the chart. The second thing that we would need in the chart is the blue one, which is nothing but the surplus value. In case you've overachieved from what your targets were, you need to be able to calculate that. Um, and that is nothing but the blue bar. So if you take a look, our target was 70, but the actual sales was 80. And if you 
subtract that, you are actually going to get a surplus of the 10. Now, once you have actually calculated the surplus or the deficit, the other thing that we would need is the supporting bar on which the, the red portion or the blue portion of the bar is going to stand. So if you take a look, the 30 is actually standing on a bar height of 50 and the 10 is actually standing on a bar height of 70. Now, what is this bar? This bar is nothing but the minimum of the sales value or the target value, right? So if you think about it, this is the sales value was 50 and the target was uh, 80. So the less of the 250 or 80 is 50 and that actually constitutes the bar value, right? If you take a look at another one, the actual sales was 80, our target was 70 and hence the bar value is the least of the two. Uh, 70 or 80 which is 70 and we are actually going to create that particular thing by 70 so the bar is nothing but the minimum of the two now once we have done the three things the red portion which is the deficit the blue portion which is the surplus and the third one which is nothing but the supporting bar the least of the two sales or the targets then we would need just a straight line to actually define what the target is so here in this case this is the target and here in this case this is the target now we have already got all the values in power bi all that we need to do is write ridiculously simple DAX measures to be able to find the deficit, the surplus, the supporting bar value, and we would be able to put together a nice little target versus actual chart. Let's just jump on to Power BI and get this thing rolling. All right, I'm in Power BI and let's just kind of introduce ourselves to the measures that I've written. They are really, really simple. And I'll just open up the measures on the screen and you can actually take a look at that. The first measure that I'm going to show up is for the supporting bar. So if I just go over to the field list right here, I have got a simple sales data table in which I have a calculation called bar. And this bar is nothing like I said, is the minimum of the two values, the sales value or the target value. And you can take a look at that. So this actually calculation, which I've right, written right here, forms nothing but the gray bars that you actually get to see, which are nothing but the supporting bars that you get to see right here. The next calculation that I'd like to show you is nothing but the uh, met and the unmet, which is the blue and the red portions of the bar. So if you actually take a look at nothing but the unmet bar, which is right here. Now this calculation is nothing but which forms the red portion that you get to see right here this one and then another this one which is not really showing up as of now and finally I'd like to show you the third one which is uh, the met portion which is the blue bar and all of these calculations which are really simple are nothing but formulating the blue portion of the bar and that's what you can actually take a look at right here now the measures are very very simple you can actually take a look at that I'd like to talk about that what chart type and what specific strategies of formatting did I use to be able to make a chart like this so let's just jump over to a blank power bi screen right here pick up a visualization and let's just start to put these measures together in a raw format on the canvas right here the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go pick up this particular type of visual which is nothing but line and which is this one so line and stacked column chart stacking because i need to stack the bar first and on top of that i need to stack the blue portion or the red portion and the line is actually going to help me create that little dashes that you see for the targets please take a look on the horizontal axis of this particular chart, what I need is the month. So I am actually going to go ahead and drag the month to the shared axis right here. In uh, of the bar values, the first thing that I would need is the bar. So I have a calculation created a bar, which actually goes over to the column values. Let's just also sort this particular chart uh, by, um, by the month so that it appears in the right way. Now, there is obviously need to be an ear slicer, but I'm just trying to show you in the raw format how the chart is going to look like. Anyways, so let's just kind of keep cruising. So in this particular chart, the next thing that I need to do is put in on top of that the unmet values or the met values, right? So let's just go take a look at that. So the unmet bar uh, stacks itself on top of that. And on top of another thing that is going to stack is the met bar, so uh, which is the surplus, right? And obviously, if you change the colors of the dark blue to a red, and the orange to a blue, things are going to just look the way it looked in the previous screen. The other interesting thing which I have in my chart, which we don't have it as of now, is the straight line that actually forms the target. So let's just go get that straight line. The straight line is nothing but the line chart visual, which is where I've canceled out the line. Please take a look. So I have nothing but my total target, which I'm just going to drag it into the line values right here. And I do get a line, but I don't really need a line. I just need a dash. So how do I do that? I'm going to select the chart, go over to the formatting right here. 
in the formatting, I'm just gonna go over to the shapes right here. And first of all, I'll cancel the line. I don't really want to have the line. So uh, stroke width, just say zero and the line is gone. But what I want is a marker. So I'm just gonna say that, hey, show a marker and the marker shape is going to be perhaps a dash and which I can increase the size of the dash to about eight or nine or 10. And this starts to look in this particular way. Now, obviously, there needs to be a ton of formatting that you would have to do to make the chart exactly look like the one that I showed it to you. But this is a very raw format of the chart and how it tends to appear once you actually calculate these values. I will also take you through some additional elements like the title and the legends, the things like that that I've put together in just about a moment. All right, back to my formatted chart. Let's just take a look at a few leftover elements that uh, you might like in the chart. The first one is a little title right here. This is nothing but a very simple, straightforward text box, which is where I've added one simple calculation, which is the number of months which haven't really met the target in that particular year. Nothing too complicated, just a simple you know, text box with a little calculation fixed in right here. The other interesting thing in this particular chart are custom legends. Now, these aren't a part of the standard chart that you create. You don't get these legends. What I have done is, uh, to make the legends look classy and neat and clean, I have created these simple rectangles and I've written the text inside of that. So this is nothing but a blue rectangle in which I've written target met, target unmet, a little dash and a little text box here, which is where I say target. The other interesting thing in this particular chart, which you might like, is that if you start to add data labels or values which show up as to what the bar value is, met or unmet value is, the chart is going to start to look very, very cluttered. And to solve that particular problem, if you hover the mouse on top of the chart, you actually get to see what the sales value is, what the target value is, and what the surplus or the deficit is. Now, if you'd like to be able to learn how do you actually create a separate tooltip page and capture all of these values here through a measure, and of course, uh, link that to the chart, I am going to link you to a great video by Reed Havens, uh, on his YouTube channel, and he actually describes this fantastic technique where you can actually build custom tooltips and maybe much more comprehensive than what I have built and link them back to your visuals so that once you hover on top of that, rather than actually seeing the standard tooltips, you actually get to see custom tooltips that you've designed according to your own need. All right, my last word of caution about the data that I'm working with. I'm working with a very, very simple sales data. I just have year, month target and the sales. But in a real scenario, your data could be way more complicated with multiple tables and multiple granularities. And you just have to keep the bigger picture in mind. Note uh, that you have to focus on getting the surplus, the deficit, the supporting bar, and the little dash line of the target. If you're able to get these things and work your measures up to be able to correctly calculate these things, you should be able to pretty easily create an actual versus target chart in Power BI. All right, that was all about the long awaited target versus actual chart in Power BI. If you have any questions around this, please feel free to hit me up in the comments and I'll be glad to reply. In the end, a quick shout about my upcoming live program on Power BI. In case you are interested to sit along with the trainer and then learn the hard parts of Power BI, be it DAX, data modeling or Power Query, please use the opportunity to sign up for the upcoming live training on Power BI. All the details are in the description below. Take a look at that and you will actually benefit a lot from this particular training. Thanks so much for watching this. Thanks so much for sticking around and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye. Take care.